All right, today we're going to talk about transposing a MIDI file. Before we do that, let's just take a look, let's take a listen to this file. This is Eric Church again. It's a great song. Springsteen. You know, there's going to be a time when uh, the song is too high or too low and you need to uh, change the key to suit your voice. And that's very common. This is quite easy to do. But there's a couple things you got to watch out for. Okay, we want to get rid of that vocal instrument. Don't need that. Remember, control L. I'll show you the lyrics. very first thing we want to do is find out what key the song is in. And if you play the guitar, you play uh, keyboards, you're familiar with all this stuff, you can uh, find out quite easily what the key is. So let's take a look at the bass. I usually go to the bass track. And that, that'll help tell you what key it's in. So a little C sharp, kind of sliding into that D. So I can tell right away that this song is in the key of D. So let's say this key is a little bit too low for you, okay? First of all, I want to show you up here, this particular button right here. This is a meter and key menu. And look at that, it tells us two sharps, this song is in the key of D. Now a lot of times that won't be correct all the time because that'll show the key of C, which means chances are they haven't put in what the key is. So if we know this song is in the key of D, and we know a little bit about music, we know that if we're going to raise it up, we're going to raise it up to the to the key of E flat or the key of E. Okay. So let's say if we want to uh, raise this up to the key of E. This is another little trick that I do a lot. If we look at these tracks, okay, the track view and the clips view over here, and the little splitter bar here. Okay, double click that and it'll move it right back to the center. So if we look at these, the tracks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, up to 11, those are different from the channels. Okay, a MIDI track can have 16 channels. And what I like to do here is to uh, show the channels in order. So we go up to track, the top here, and we go down to sort. You can sort the tracks whichever way you like. I prefer to send to set them up with the channel. So I click on that and look at that. We have channel one, two, three. They're all in chronological order. I like to do it that way personally, okay? You can do it whatever way you, you choose. And a lot of the professional files are showing the vocal track on channel four. Okay, I mentioned that before. The other thing that you have to remember is that with MIDI, the drums are always on channel 10. That doesn't change, okay? And once you set up your file, with your proper bank and your proper sound module. I'm using the JV1010. General MIDI in this particular file. When the number is there, it will automatically show you the patch. Vocal ooze, okay. So 
So I like to have all these things set up. I just like to know all the instruments that are contained in the song. Okay, so I've sorted the tracks, show the channel one at the top, right down, and they're all in chronological order. Just the way I like to do things. Another thing I want to mention too is when you have a professional track and you want to use that track, always assign a new name to it. You can go up to here, file, and save it as. Okay? And make sure it's on MIDI format one and you can save that track and give it a new name so in case you mess up this file, you can always go back to the original track and start again. Okay, so we've identified what key this song is in. It's in the key of D. That has two sharps. So when you look at a track in the musical view or the events view, you've got Two sharps, which signifies the key of D. So if you read music, that'll help you as well. And that's kind of nice to know as well, okay? So I like to check the bass track. That kind of helps many, many times to uh, identify what key the song is in. Okay. And we want to know the difference between a track, these are the tracks over here, and the channels. They are different from one another, okay? In this particular instance, they line right up, but a lot of times they won't. So the first thing we have to do is think about transposing this song. You want to highlight all the tracks, okay? And then you hit the control button and you click on track 10, and that takes it out of the highlighted area, okay? And now you can work with this track. So what you want to do simply is go up to Edit, come down to Transpose right there, and the hot key would be N because see that? It's underlined. And we're going to leave this alone. Don't click this box, and we're going to Click that up to, so that takes it from D to E flat to E. And you can actually see the tracks move. Okay? So let's give this a listen. So you can immediately hear that the, uh, the track has gone up. Now we're going to take a look at the events here. So that's going to start on an E flat up to E. Now, if we want to be musically correct, we have to adjust this. Go back to meter and the key view. We're going to double click on that. It's going to open up this window. It was in the key of D, so now we're going to change it to the key of E. And the reason we do that, because it shows all of the notes properly, okay? And then we can save our file. Now we're in the key of E, but the drums have not changed. We never change the key of the drums because they're a percussion instrument. Now if we take a look at this acoustic guitar, look at the staff view. So this is going to show correctly on, this, on the tab. 
octave treble, display tab, six string guitar, there's our tab. And like I said before, this is a great learning tool if you want to learn songs. It really improves your timing as well. Now let's say if that's not quite right, you still, it's still a little too low for you. So we're going to click on this one more time. We're going to hold down the control key and click on the drum track to unhighlight it. We're going to go up to edit and we're going to hit transpose and we're going to click it up just one and watch over here what happens. They actually change a little bit. So what I've done there, I've transposed the song up into the key of F. You can see the notes right here. Now we're in the key of F. So what the first thing we're going to do is go up here and open up the meter key window. The meter is 4-4. The majority of songs you're going to encounter are 4-4 time. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. That's your standard pop song, okay? So now we're going to double click this, and we're going to change this and bring this up to the key of F, which has one flat. And we're going to just move this down the line a little bit. So now we're in the key of F, which has one flat, and you can see all of the music has changed to the key of F. So now you can precisely arrange the song for your voice. Very important that you get it so it matches your voice, your, your range, where you like to sing. That's critical, okay? So now the song, originally in the key of D, is in the key of F. And it sounds great. It's just been moved up to a register where you can sing. So that is how you transpose a MIDI file. Okay, I hope you've learned something. Europa Man, over and out.